Tucked away from the bustling streets, Sam's tasteful Turkish pick is owned by two Kurdish brothers. Here, genuine flavors are served up in beautifully ornate silver and copper ware. In Palo Alto, step into Anatolian Kitchen. I met my wife here in Anatolian Kitchen. She was working as a hostess, and then we met, and then we got married. So I guess you have to be careful who you're hiring, right? My wife, she's Turkish and I'm Kurdish. We really have a different understanding to each other sometimes because the culture differences. Rojbaş, my name is Dino Tekdemir. I am owner of Anatolian Kitchen. I came to the U.S. from a city called Diyarbakir, southeast of Turkey, Kurdish area. I'm Kurdish. I start from janitor, dishwasher, busser, server, and finally manager. So after nine years, I saved my own money, and I finally decided to open my own restaurant, my own dream. My brother, he was cooking back home in Turkey. When he came here in 2007, he was cooking with me. The recipe, actually, the food, exactly what we're eating at home, like mother cook. In Turkey, they use very uh, selective ingredients. It's very hard to find around here, but that makes it very special and very unique. Nice I'm usually in the front, uh, doorman, greeting people, welcoming them, hugging them. So because everybody knows me around here, they know my story, a lot of people, and they come here, I just, it's like guests come to your home. Şerefe. This place has a real international flair, doesn't it? This restaurant is family owned. So the two brothers, it's owned by two brothers. And so all the dishes that you guys tried, it's actually from their home in Turkey. So I would say it's a mix between Kurdish and Turkish style food. But ironically, my favorite dish is called the Alexander favorite. Mm. Cubes of bread and it is soaked in butter. And laying on top of it is these thinly sliced rotisserie meat it's surrounded by an island of what I call togurt sauce because it's a mix between this tangy orange tomato sauce with thick yogurt. Mm -hmm. It is just really great, especially because I'm a dipping person. I love <laughs> taking the bread that they have make in-house and dipping them and making little sandwiches out of them. Right. I ordered the lamb shanks and I also ordered the combo grill. Mm, cool. Oh. Yeah. All right, tell me about them both. Don't tease me. Okay, Don't well let me start. Me. Let me start me. with the lamb shake. The lamb shake was very tender, very mm. tasty, and it was on a bed of orzo pasta, mm. I believe, mm -hmm. and it was really, really good. I love that, but when they brung the combo grill out, uh, it had chicken on skewers, chicken kebab, it had these meatballs that actually tasted like steak, mm. and, and the chef came out, and they were so attentive to us. This is one of my uh, mm -hmm. things I loved about this dining experience. Mm. The chef came out, and he talked to us, asked us, you know, uh, what we liked, and he just really, really gave us that care that I think that is important in a great dining experience. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. We took friends who had recently been to Istanbul, and so we thought they were good picks to come along to see how authentic it would be. And I think everyone raved about it mm -hmm. in our group. It's my why I wore my whirling dervish shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Turkey. <laughs> so Alexander's favorite was also my personal favorite mm -hmm. of the night too. But another thing that um, I had was called the Monty. <gasps> oh. Yes, the dumpling, the yeah. meat spice dumpling. So so they kind of likened to an Italian tortellini, mm -hmm. and they had seasoned meat inside a little nestled pocket of really tender pasta. Mm -hmm. It was served with the really light yogurt sauce with some nice herbs. And when you ate one of those, it kind of burst in your mouth, mm -hmm. and I loved it. It was like a little flavor explosion, and um, that really was a great new taste mm -hmm. for me. The hospitality right. was mm -hmm. above and beyond. Mm -hmm. I don't expect a chef to come out or an owner to come out. They were so good at guiding you, mm -hmm. you know, gently through the menu and showing you what things you may like or you may not like. I thought that was, that was really, really classy for right. them. Mm -hmm. They have, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a lot of cultural artifacts oh, yeah. in the room. And it almost felt like it. I'd never been to Turkey, okay? But if I ever went to Turkey, that gave me a great glimpse of what it could be like. Yes. And it wasn't mm -hmm. overdone with the decor. It wasn't like right. tchotchke overload. Right. Right. Um, and so I appreciated that. I did wonder if any of you guys got dessert. We did. I did. Okay. <laughs> I guess I got you got dessert. Dessert. Well, I had the baklava. Yeah. Yes. It, it was. It was good. I, 
I wish I would have had it straight out of the oven or, mm -hmm. or however oh. they cooked it. It, it. A little little cold, not, not as warm as I thought it, it mm -hmm. should be, but it was delicious. The chocolate and the flaky uh, crust was mm -hmm. really good. And, and like I said, they were so nice to me. They could have fed me anything and I probably would have <laughs> enjoyed it. <laughs> and what did you have for dessert, Marley? We had that also and loved it. It was really flavorful mm -hmm. and wonderful. Mm -hmm. But we had a new experience with the kunif, kunefi. I don't know how to pronounce That's it right. correctly. Don't worry. So this dessert lends itself more on the savory side. Mm -hmm. And when it came out, it looks like a flattened bird's nest. Um, and really what it is though, is really thin strips of phyllo dough. Mm. But inside is some cheese that's really mild flavor, oh, wow. but a very traditional dish. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. traditional, authentic mm -hmm. dish. Right. I always get the baklava. The filo dough, it's so thin and it's so buttery and embedded in those feel each sheet. I can taste fragrant honey. <laughs> and yeah. I love that they do mm -hmm. not scrimp on the nuts because yeah. they, you felt like you were actually getting dry pistachio nuts and it was crunchy mm -hmm. and it's just so yummy. And I always recommend people get the baklava. All right, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us, Sam. All right, if you want to go for a cultural experience, great food, meat galore, and just great atmosphere, come to Antonia's Kitchen. And Marley? I think uh, it was a great first impression of Turkish food, and I'm excited to try more Turkish food over time. And Stephen? Romantic, sexy, good, great <laughs> service. I'd recommend anybody to go. All righty, if you would like to try Anatolian Kitchen, it's located on Bird Street at Cambridge in Palo Alto. Telephone number is 650-853-9700. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has in-trend surfaces, quieter marbles and rare exotics. Over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley. Online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils, French-inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Support for KQED comes from Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with six Bay Area locations.